Good morning, and welcome to Daylight with Dean number 153 on September 14th, 2020. I am grateful to have this opportunity to be together this morning, and I would like to check the sound. However, when I tried to check it on my way over, uh, yesterday's daylight came up, and it... uh, Let's see how this sounds. I tried to check it on my way over. Uh, yesterday's daylight came. Sounds like there's a little static. Let's see how this sounds. I tried to check it on my way over. Uh, yes. Maybe a little bit of static, but nothing to uh, shut us down. So, uh, thank you for joining with me this morning. Let's start our morning, let's start our Monday, let's start our week with that magnificent mm, first cup of coffee. I'm nearly speechless. (laughs) That is so good. (laughs) Oh, wow. So how was your weekend? I hope, uh, I hope you had a great weekend. Um, today's Monday. The Steelers are playing today. And I forgot to wear my Steeler jersey. Ooh, that's a faux pas that uh, won't happen again. I just realized. <laughs> On Steeler Day. <laughs> Steeler football days, I wear my Steeler jersey, so I have to make sure I take care of that. Uh, The Steelers play tonight on Monday Night Football at 720, so it's a big day, a big event. Something definitely to get excited about here in western Pennsylvania and looking forward to that. Um, mm, It's football season. Are you ready? Um, This this weekend was um, was different than I had thought. In that, I now have um, my wife and my daughter, who are teachers, and then my youngest daughter, who's a student, uh, all living in the house and. I typically am the one who leaves my paperwork out and about, as you know. Well, now, um, all of them need their own space to work in. <laughs> and our, uh, our lower level of the house looks more like the office than the house. <laughs> I went to, I went to lay down yesterday, uh, after, uh, what did I have? I had something right after church, and then I went to lay down for like 20 minutes and watch football on the couch in the living room. And there were so many piles of books and papers and pens and backpacks all over the couch. It was like, oh, this is new. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a big box of file things right in front of my sight line of line of vision as well so I got all that moved and watched about 20 minutes on the couch of football before got to uh, go up to see my son yesterday for a little bit Uh, Leslie and I and my daughter and grandson went up and uh, just had a delightful time 
and um, it was good. It was good. So yesterday morning, Sunday morning at the river was um, was a unique experience because it was the first time we've had rain under the tent. Now, it wasn't uh, filled with thunderstorms like we were afraid it was going to, uh, but the rain really held off till right at 10 o'clock when we were starting our service. And then it was just a steady rain. It wasn't a hard rain. It wasn't a, a sprinkle. It was a steady rain for about 15, 15 minutes, I think. And one of the things we got to experience under the tent is uh, the the places where the canopy uh, leaks. <laughs> I don't think there were many of them, but I was standing under one of them, and I got a drop on my head. I'm like, wait, I'm not out in the rain. I'm under the tent. And so I moved a little bit, and uh, we had a we had a really good morning. There were. There were uh, n- there was nobody sitting in the yard. Everybody was under the tent, but still had the same amount of people under the tent as normal. So probably had um, 65, 70 people there would be my guess. Um, and then we had a couple cars across the street in the parking lot, so they count too. And it was it was different. I was I was talking to them and I'm like something's something's just different and so I called Brian Baker after our service because I had to talk to him about uh, scheduling something and he said Dean were they as quiet for you as they were for me he said I couldn't get a reaction out of them at all I mean they were just sitting there non-responsive not not engaging they were just sitting there it was so quiet did you struggle and I said, that's what it was. It was so quiet. And I don't know if it, cause it was because of the rain that it just put everybody kind of in a state of mellow relaxation. But it was incredibly quiet. And when I would stop talking and the rain hitting the canopy of the tent and nobody engaging or talking, it was eerily quiet and I even noted that near the beginning of my uh, sermon so then the thing that broke the ice for us was I was recounting uh, the morning of 9-11 my point was whenever you need hope cling to what is good and whenever I was Whenever I was in 9-11, all I wanted to do was be around my family. And Brian had mentioned on that morning, he just left work and wanted to be around his family because his, his boss closed the office down. And so that's, uh, that's all I wanted. And so then I said, I just wanted to be with my wife and my three children. And then I went to make the next statement and somebody yelled something. And I'm like, finally, I heard noise. I heard a response. And the person said, you mean your four children? And I paused and I'm like, yes, I would have met my four children if my fourth children had, fourth child had been born yet, but I met my three children. Well, then everybody just busted out. And then I told the story. I said, I, I appreciate, though, you keeping an eye on the words I say and correcting me when I get it wrong. I said, because on daylight, there's no one to correct me when I get it wrong. So the other day, I was talking about watching the show on Flight 92. And I was talking about Flight 92 that crashed in Shanksville. And when I was listening to it afterwards, I'm like, Flight 92? Who ever heard of Flight 92? It's Flight 93. And I I was amused that all of my uh, people that comment on daylight either didn't catch it or didn't care or were just being kind, not to point out that I said Flight 92 <laughs> instead of Flight 93. So I gave uh, everyone at the river total permission to correct me when I misspeak. Now, on daylight, 
you guys do understand, I'm within 30 minutes of waking up and I have not had a full cup of coffee yet. But I'm working on it. So my stats, my numbers, my details may be just a little off, a little slightly off, but uh, it's not uh, intentional. So, So then um, the message went well. The music was great. Brian did a great job. Um, I was pleased with the service and had good response at the end. Um, since we've been outside, I've just been asking people if they wanted prayer for anything specifically that they could come forward during our final song and let me know and they uh they've been doing that so it was good to pray with uh the three people that came forward specifically for prayer about areas of their life that they need hope and it was a good it was a good it was a good day it was a good morning and transitioning into monday my day off i have uh, the opportunity to take a friend to the dentist this morning that's having some work done on his uh, on a tooth and he's not able to drive home and so I said I'll take you so have that going on I'm heading to the gym in just a few minutes and we're uh, we're working out upper body it's my favorite gym day very excited about about that and uh, looking forward to the week ahead. Uh, I hope that you are looking forward to the week ahead um, and all that the Lord has in store for you. Um, I love the beginning of a week and just the adventure of what's the Lord going to bring across my path this week. And last week, from Tuesday on, there was a lot brought across the path that was um, unique and significant and special. And uh, so I just, I love the adventure that the Lord uh, takes us on if we're open to it, if we uh, invite him to be part of our day and do our day with us, if we invite him to lead us, if we... Uh, pay attention to the things that he brings across our path this week. And uh, I, one, uh, one thing that I just really look forward to is that, just allowing the Lord to navigate things as he sees fit. Um, and can't wait for that. Well, guys, I'm going to get going a few minutes early today. I um, have some things I have to get ready before I leave for the morning. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And I'd like to just pray that God blesses you today and this week. Let's pray. Father, we're so thankful for the opportunity that we have to pause this morning before our days take off, that we get to pause and surrender our day to you. Uh, Father, for those that are catching this at the end of their day, I pray that you'd give them a moment to look back and reflect on their day and just look for those times when you moved, you worked, you blessed, to give them an opportunity to take inventory of what they're grateful for. And as we begin our day today, God, I'm so grateful uh, for a good night's rest. I'm so thankful for waking up with uh, air in my lungs this morning and breath to start my day. I'm so grateful for this moment that we have together. And Lord, I invite you to do my day with me. Um, may your presence, your love, 
your faithfulness be clear throughout the day. May I not miss your promptings, your leadings, or what you have for me today. And may, be, may I be a blessing, may I be mindful to be a blessing and be helpful everywhere I go in every interaction. And Father, I thank you for your grace and mercy when I don't get it right. Uh, I thank you so much for that. And Lord, I just pray the same for each person here today. Bless their day. May they sense your favor, your anointing, your blessing on them. May you give them courage to speak the words that you have to them. May they help others not only see you and see you in them, but may they help others find you today. And may they be a blessing as well. God, we're so grateful for this Monday morning and we can't wait to see all that you have ahead for us today. We pray in the name, in the strong, magnificent, beautiful, faithful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much for this time together today. And I can't wait to see you till I see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Bye.